Hello and welcome to my video on Google Slides. In this video, I'll show you how I made my project on one topic on any subject in my school. So before we start, I'd like to show you my presentation. So to see the presentation, you can either click on this present icon which presents the presentation to you or you can click Ctrl and F5 on your computer. So that starts a window and here you go. So this video is about my favorite subject which is made by me, made by Ahan Padma and it's a project for Viz Juniors. So why study maths? Because humanity needs maths. It's the base of all subjects and you need it in everyday life. But also remember it makes learning fun. All these uh, points make mathematics my favorite subject. So mathematics is mainly uh, algebra and geometry. Algebra is the branch of mathematics in which letters and other general symbols are used to represent numbers and quantities and formula and equations. While geometry is the branch of mathematics concerned with the properties and relations of points, lines, surfaces, solids and higher dimensional analogs. So this is a funny gif that I found on algebra and this is another gif that I found on geometry and what is the importance of mathematics so mathematics is divided into main, is mainly divided into two branches there are other aspects of math like trigonometry calculus etc as well this project assists in showing why maths is so important and it also shows how it can be fun so all these points is my make my project so thank you for seeing my presentation and let's move out and continue with my project my video so as you can see I have been asked to create a presentation with the various subtopics of the given project and explaining its details with images so these gifs etc shapes are my images and the project should have one introduction slide so as you can see, this is my introduction slide which talks about my favorite project and who has made it. In the, in the next few slides, explain about my project. So these four slides, this one, two, three and four explain what my project is about along with this one. At last create one thank you slide. So the last thank you slide. And now use formatting and alignments. So let's just go to the start. So as you can see, I have formatted this start one with Georgia. And I have made it underlined. And as you can see here, I have made it bold. And most of the font in my project is Georgia. And alignment, I have aligned according to, let's say, this one. I have aligned the, the shapes. I have aligned the shapes to each other. And, and they fit perfectly well. Now, add shapes and images. So these these two shapes are the shapes that I like. So and these two gifs are the images that I inserted. So I'll show you how to insert both. So first, I'll show you how to insert the shape. So to insert shape, there are two ways. You can either click on shape, shapes, and rounded rectangle, which is the one that I've chosen, or go into shape through insert and the rounded rectangle. So I won't insert any right now. But I'll show you how I formatted it. So I went into more format options and these I checked these two. So I'll just show you how it looks without these two being checked. So as you can see, it looks like a normal shape. But now see how it looks if I click on it. It looks totally different. Now I'll show you a bit about the images. So how I inserted these images was I searched for algebra gifs and geometry gifs online and click on insert image by url also there is another way by just clicking on the image option and by url so let's move on so as you can see i have been asked to use themes and templates so to use themes and templates what you need to do is that you just click you go on the slides home and choose any template that you want so I just started with any template and then I started making it. But I eventually I felt that the formatting that I was doing 
looked better than the original formatting that had been created. And add transitions and animations. So let me just show you how I added the transitions and animations. So as you can see, these icons these represent that there is an animation inside this slide. So to insert an animation, just choose any let's say this text box I want to animate, and then I click on insert animation, and as you can see, it offers me fade in and many more. So I can choose on click or after previous or with previous. And this is the delete button as I do not want it now. I can click on delete. And now let's choose transitions. So if I want transitions between two slides, let's say it flips over. And now let's see it by click on present. So after I've shown you this, it flips over and goes to the next slide. So let me just recap everything. I've shown you how to create. I've shown you a bit about my project. Cleaners. Thank you slides. I've shown you what features I must show you. And just for one last thing. Even though I started with a template. I felt that black and white looks better. Because in maths you're either right or you're wrong. So thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video.